Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. His name is My Web, and guys, in this video, I am going to download some other content contents like some CSS files, Bootstrap, uh, OWL Carousels file, and jQuery file CTC. So now let's go to the uh, browser. That's our browser. And now, first of all, I am going to the getbootstrap.com for download the Bootstrap file. As you can see it's a version 4 beta so i'm using that uh, the latest version of bootstrap 4 so i download it and click on the download file and that's i'm going to the local disk e in the jam folder here is our ht docs and that's the ecom folder okay now i'm save it at here okay so it's still downloading um, I think it's taking some time for that my network is going so down mm, yeah it's done now now the next thing is the old, when you go to the google go to the google.com and type in the search box OWL casual okay now the first option of that home all casual 2.2.1 click on that maybe in the future the version is changed so don't worry about that that's all the contents and the doc, uh, doc documents are available at there okay if you want to see some demo of that OWL casual so click on that demo and that's the basic responsive center merge so I'm click on the responsive and as you can see that's the next 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 option and it's also a draggable okay and it's also responsive okay now okay so now I'm going to the home option and download that in our folder so I click on the folder, uh, folder. okay yeah it's it give me some op option for that now I save it in our ecom root folder okay save it now the next thing is time to download the jquery file okay now jquery.com okay uh, and i click on the download jquery 3.3.1 okay and as you can see that's the download the production jquery 3.1 3.3.1 so I click and open a new tab okay that's it your jquery file is here so I press the control s button for save into the my js file folder okay and change the name of that jquery dot js okay I click on the save when I open my folder and go to the directory of that ecom folder as you can see ecom okay and here is our jquery.js file okay now the next thing is extract the bootstrap fo folder sorry g file and set up the bootstrap files in different folders so i extract at here i click on the extract here option and that is our folder where is that yeah that's the bootstrap 4.4.0 4.0.0 sorry for that now i am opening in the new window okay and when i go to the dist folder okay has a lot of files at here available here so i am going to, basically i am going to the only on the dist folder and go to the css file and select the bootstrap dot mean dot css file and copy that okay and in the css file i paste that okay or you can uh nothing to change that oh yeah the bootstrap grid dot css so i copy that into the mood root css okay and now in the js file and back yeah and select the whole three JSS JS file from this JS folder. So bundle.js. It's a bundle.mean.js. So 
okay and the bootstrap.js file or you can choose the minim minified version of that bootstrap.min.js so select and that select okay so i think it's a done of the bootstrap folder so i select and delete that folder and yeah and also and delete that zip zip file of that bootstrap okay now it's a time to the ow casual so i extract that it here okay and now i'm opening the new window okay okay and i'm going to dist folder okay and go to the assets okay so in the assets folder we have some css file of that so i select the whole folder okay so whole file and move into the css file okay now I'm go back click on the go back and select on this two files any one file all dot casual dot js or a minified i selected both for using that okay now I think we don't need to this folder so I delete that and also delete the word files are delete okay the one more thing for bx slider because we need a dynamic bx slider I'm to set that slider folder okay like this one when you go to the demo file of that uh, demo home page so ol yeah okay so as you can see it's our slider which is not right now in the dynamic but in the future video i'm making this dynamic so i'm going to the bx slider website bxslider.com and download this folder so i click on the install okay and download the jquery.bxslider.jif at here okay now actually I save into the root folder of ecom save it okay and now I'm again go back to our work OWL sorry ecom root folder okay what's happening at there okay so yeah okay our download is done now i click close it close it close it close it yeah now now i'm extract again the the bx dot slider extract here and open it in new window okay and when i go to the dist folder here is a lot of, of files so again i move to i select the images file and also this dot css file that css and move into the css folder okay and that's our jquery.bx slider so again i select that anyone okay you don't need to both for that so i click the minified version of that and in the js folder okay i close it now i delete that dot bx slider gif file okay so we have we have some css files for uh, of uh, bootstrap jquery bx slider and other casual themes so i delete that the uh, i only want some minified of that file okay that's Okay, everything is going good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I also ne only need in dot main. Okay, so here is our some bootstrap jQuery slider and some OWL casual main dot main CSS file. Okay, go back and in the JS folder we have the J JS files of bootstrap and jQuery and other OWL files. So I hope you learned how to download and set up the, your file in your folder. 
in the next in the next video i am set up your all the files in the index.php okay so take care bye bye and stay with me happy coding